Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up an organization asset library in your Office 365 tenant. This is a very great benefit for every user in your organization. In fact, this feature allows you to store in one single place images, photos, logos, and Office templates. This means that if a user needs to add an image in a modern page on SharePoint, he is able to select this gallery, where you can store all your organization images, photos and logos. The same thing if a user has to work with PowerPoint. For example, opening PowerPoint in the web or in the desktop is able by clicking on the menu item organization to select the right template for him. Ok, let's get started. Here I am on my PC and I have the Microsoft documentation open. We can see on this page how you can create an organization assets library. More specifically, you can create an images and an office templates asset library. This means that you can create a document library where you can store your organization images, photos and logos and another document library with all your office templates for Word, PowerPoint and Excel. Below we have here the first requirement that tells us that you need to perform a PowerShell setup. So you have to run a command with PowerShell and you need to be a global admin or a SharePoint admin to perform this action. Let's start with the first step. Here I am in the SharePoint admin center. This is the place where you can create a new SharePoint site. In my case, I already created this site called Assets. You can create a communication site or a team site, it doesn't matter. So you can easily click on the button Create and then Team Site or Communication Site. I already performed this section, as I said, and this is the site that I have. It's called Sites and then Assets. Now, in order to make available all files that we will store on this site, it's very crucial to click on share button and in the visitors group add the everyone except external users group. In this way every user of the organization is able to use these templates or images, logos and photos. Next step is to create two document libraries, one for images and the other one for office templates. You can easily perform this action by clicking on the wheel icon and then add an app. I already made these steps, so if I click on site contents I can show you that I reused the documents library for my images. Now I will change the preview so you can easily see that I have some images that I can reuse later. And in the office templates document library I uploaded several templates, four for PowerPoints and one for Word. Next I will open PowerShell. I am back now to the Microsoft documentation because in order to run the right PowerShell commands I need to download and install the latest SharePoint Online management shell. So here there is a warning very important. If you installed a previous version of the SharePoint Online management shell, go to add or remove programs and uninstall SharePoint Online management shell. So this is very important in order to consume this new command add SPO org asset library. Okay, let's open PowerShell. I will type Windows key and then PowerShell. I have here Windows PowerShell Easy. I will run this instance as administrator. Then I will reuse a script that I already created previously. And here we go. I have three rows. First of all, I have to connect to my Office 365 tenant. Then I will run this first command in order to create an organization asset library for images. And then I will run this second command in order to create an Office template library. This parameter is very important, org asset type. You can create an image document library or an office template library. I already ran these three commands previously. It's very important here in the library URL that you specify the document library where you want to create the image document library. Then you can even add a thumbnail. So I dropped here a logo in the same document library. 
The same thing for the Office template library. You have to specify the document library, the thumbnail URL, and finally the org asset type. It's time to see how it looks like this organization assets library. I am now in a communication site. I want to post a news. Let me click on the new link and then news post. I will select the blank and default news. And finally, I want to add content in this news. If I add, for example, a image web part, I have now the stock images, web search, and look at this, your organization. Clicking on this new menu item, I am able to display now my image document library. I have here even a logo in background, and this is called documents. Clicking on it, on this tile, I'm able to display all images that I uploaded in my organization asset library, more specific image asset library. And here we go, I have all images available. I can select one, this one for example, and let me click on open. And finally, I have my images uploaded in the SharePoint page. The same thing if I go here and I try to upload an image background on the header. Again, your organization, documents, and I can select one image that I have in my asset library. And here we go. I can now post this news. It's time to have a look to the Office Templates library. So let me open PowerPoint now. In the Waffle menu, I will click on PowerPoint. And now next to new blank presentation, I have this new folder, Office Templates, and this is exactly my organization asset library. If I click on Office Templates, which is the name of my document library, I have four PowerPoint templates and I can easily pick up one, for example, this one, where I can start to work with my PowerPoint presentation. This is very cool. You have exactly the same user experience with Word, Excel and in the Office desktop app. Okay, that was a quick tutorial how you can set up an organization asset library in your Office 365 tenant. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!